Where is this gas station? Now? Fire Chief here, Minister of Public Works. We have C.S. Conrad, the Attorney General. We have Mr. McCoy around the corner. Along with Minister of Home Affairs, Ropes and Ben. And you can see the police ranks are working in tandem with the Ghana Fire Service. And all the civilians are trying to assist as best as possible. This here is the worry. We were told that there's a gas station, yes. There's a service station right here. And there's a real risk of the fire. Already the building next door is on fire. And this is the service station here. So it's there's a big worry now. If if you have fuel in, in the storage tanks here. You see, you have some persons are are trying to direct the fire service ranks as to where they might find a hydrant to access a source of water. Now the safety we have to move back because there's a real possibility of an explosion now. I'm <laughs> 
So now there's a real worry that the embers from, from the fire, these are very old buildings and they are blowing across here. They're trying to fight this one. There's a worry across next door that that is the portion that caught a fire just now Some residents in these very old some of the buildings in this area are over a hundred years old. Wooden building.
Dude, this is the like that is Mr. Nigel Hughes. The horses are trying to come in and he's telling he's insisting on no one other than the staff. behind the police station is on fire right there there have been incidents of robbery just behind the Hatfield Street area I grew up as a kid passing this mini gas station here so this is a developing situation behind we see several ministers of government we see Anil Nandalal here we see Minister Priya Manik Chand we see um, minister of human services we see you know a lot of senior government functionaries out here but this is threatening now if i take you further down this way here you will see that the officers are breaking into you'd imagine that an officer is breaking into where the officers section is the, the sleeping quarters the sleeping quarters are they've, they've broken down a wall to the end there to get into that section but this is behind Hatfield Street it's not really per se getting any better behind here but uh, I, I believe that the fire service they're trying their very best so I don't know what's happening here I think they're trying to break into this building now I don't know to save what but they're throwing water now onto the building. It look, looks like, my goodness. Farley's, correct, thank you, that's the name. Farley's gas station. See a fire truck has come a bit closer. So we see um, the owners of this building, the National Tushaus Council Secretariat, they are now wetting, pouring water onto the building in an effort in an effort to prevent any other major catastrophe. But the focus is here, over here. This is disturbing to watch. see a large crowd has gathered at the corner of just outside the Hughes Fields and Stobie building just out there I see fine.
Oh, this is a sec. How things? Hey, I'm not this. Hey, I'm not driving this. Hey, I'm not So I think I think what the what the the residents are saying of Leopold Street is that this building here, which is owned by Attorney at Law, not owned, I think the offices of Attorney at Law, Nigel Hughes, his his wife Kathy Hughes, they're uh, in this building, and they're saying that you know what, pour water on this building too, on these buildings too, to save them. That's another story happening in the corner there, but let me just focus a little bit more on the fire. So the fire, as you know, as you can see, it has the potential to spread across to all these buildings here. So the National Two Shelves Council Secretariat, which is here, they're already pouring water onto the building. And there's some concerns raised by the owners and tenants of the Hughes Fields and Stobie um, offices just here on Hatfield Street. But this is the situation right now. The Brickdown Police Station, you can safely say, is gone. See the hydrant at the I don't know. We see former Minister of Telecommunications, Kathy Hughes, um, beckoning the fire officers to get some water on standby for the nearby buildings. I believe that is what she was saying. Get some water on standby for the nearby buildings that are being threatened by this raging fire. This is the, the Hughes Fields and Stoby building, I believe. I see um, uh, attorney at law. I'm trying to get closer. Nigel Hughes already beginning to evacuate uh, staff and take certain documents out from the building. He's with a hammer.
So there's a lot happening at once. Breakdown police station, fire still not contained as you can see. Still not put out as you can see. As a business on Hatfield Street already destroyed by fire. <clears throat> Smoke. Several buildings along Hatfield Street are being threatened by this blaze. And that is why they're trying their best to take as many documents as they can out of the building and evacuate staff and in some instances here at the National Tushaus Secretariat they're soaking the building because it is being threatened by fire. We see a turn it law Nitro Hughes. And this is the situation here, downtown Georgetown. Another fire tender being responded. Another fire tender has responded just to try to save, um, well, not save, prevent rather these buildings that are on Hatfield Street. that are being threatened as we speak by this rage. So, 
if I'm to give you a better explanation of what's happening here, uh, there are some fire tenders here on standby. The armed police have responded. This is just Hatfield and Leopold Street's area because there have been reports of incidents of robbery and break and enter. So the police are on standby, guarding the buildings, while the fire department try to wet the buildings and prevent it from going up in flames. But this is not getting any better behind here. I've said that before, but I don't see a drop of water being sprayed on this business that is on fire that is very close to this Farley's gas station, mini gas station here. And this is at the back of the breakdown police station. I'm going to try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. What are coming over here? Let me come between here. Hello, let me just come between. What's that? What's that? I have to pull back a bit. I think they've now gotten some water to spray on the Farley's gas station and the nearby businesses. Trying to get behind the. If I'm seeing correctly, there's a tree here in the St. Stanislaus College compound. My goodness, the tree now is on fire in the compound of the St. Stanislaus College. Uh, just keeps getting worse. I'm gonna move around to the. Uh, yes, I was seeing correctly. So they're gonna to try to kick this tree down. in the St. Stanislaus compound. See some stuff, some professor, teachers there and other stuff. Yeah. So the tree which is opposite the Bradam police station. What are you gonna do with that? I see. Wow. So this will be left to burn until they can cut it down. Or at least the section that is on fire. The part of that tree that is on fire in the compound of the St. Stanislaus College. But this is the developing situation here at the Breakdown Police Station. that was broken out at the back of the breakdown police station I, I don't know I don't want to get too close because the rest of the building is on fire but this is at the back of the building as you'd imagine
Commissioner. No, my, so you said you're chasing me from the side like that thing. Huh? Just late for two days. Just the second time telling you this, right? I wasn't late. I was here to be chasing you away from me. I chased you. Not me. Bump. I see uh, the Home Affairs Minister. The Home Affairs Minister, along with uh, uh, Mr. Hicken, come. Commander, uh, Mr. Mr. Brutus, and some other officers, they're entering the breakdown uh, police station compound from at the back to get a proper assessment, rather, of the blaze. Uh, I'm going to try to sneak in as far as I can. But... Um, You saw me in the yard? Okay, I ain't going to the yard, I'm here. No, no, I beat you up, but you tell me no unauthorized person. I'm standing outside. Good, good. I'm good, I'm live, so you're audio, right? Yeah, that's all right, that's good. And to get the proper assessment of the place, I see that they're inside the, the compound, the minister, Minister Ben and Mr. Hickel and Commissioner and all the others are in, are in the compound and the tarmac really of the police station but I'm going to try to move around the parameters of the police station try to get a better assessment of, of what's happening I'm on brick dam right now <laughs> moving to the front I understand the traffic section of the brick dam station is minor damages. And if I'm to bring you any closer here, this is what the brick dam police station, the main building, I'm good sir, I'm good, has been reduced to. So at the front of the of the Brigham Police Station, they have the fire somewhat under control. They have it on somewhat under control, and that's because the entire building is down, as you can see. But at the back of the building, yes, Mr. Yeah, good sir. At the back of the building, where the real damage and the fire is still billowing from. You imagine that this is the the prison, the lockups of the breakdown police station. Yeah. I'm coming around to the Smite Street area. Stay close. <clears throat> and this is the Smite Street area. Yes. Stay right there. Thank you. 
This is what the brick dam station has been reduced to. I'm taking you around the parameters before I, I end the live. Another business will fire the back. Yeah, come on. So this is the back of the Brigdam Police Station from the Hatfield Street and Sendal Place. View. trying to get a little bit closer to the business that right there that was destroyed by fire so I'm going to end this live and come right back to you as soon as I have an update so here we go you can see that the brick dam station has been reduced the main building of the brick dam police station has been reduced another business there has been completely destroyed by fire it was threatening the Farley's gas station that is uh, from my right of that business a tree in the compound of the St. Stanislaus College is on fire they're trying to, to get that looked after and the fire service and the police are standing guard wetting certain buildings along Hatfield Street namely the Youth Fields and Stobie Office the National Two Shells Council Secretary the Amerindian People's Association they're wetting those buildings so as to prevent the fire from spreading as soon as I have another update for you, I will be right back.